So yeah, ladies, welcome. Today on this channel, we're going to have a short conversation about our first menses. We've all had our menses, I guess so, right? Yes, yeah. please. Okay. <laughs> um that's awesome so who would like to share the experience with your first menstruation like your first period how was it like how was it who is going to talk first and no i think you should oh no yes i want that okay. and uh, so when i had my first menses i was in uh, junior high school okay and then I didn't know I, I had, it was my menses. So one day we were just on break and then I was outside. And all of a sudden I felt like there's something, a liquid, like fluid something in my panty. I was like, what's that? And I didn't know. So I went to the washroom and I saw blood and then I started panicking. Like, what happened to me? Am I sick? Like, what, what is this? I kept asking myself questions. I, I, I was really panicking, like, and I didn't know, like, I, I, I totally forgot that there was something called menstruation, okay? Mm -hmm. And by then I was in senior, uh, junior high school. Can you imagine? Not that I was in primary or something. <laughs> junior high school. And we've, like, once we've learned about menstruation, like, just briefly, surface something. And then that day when it happened, I didn't know, like, I totally forgot that there was something called menstruation. So I, I, I actually didn't know. I had to, I was so confused. I was sick, like, and then I, I went home. I left school. I went to my DV asked permission. I went to pick my bag. And it was so unusual of me. So <laughs> I've never run away from school before. <laughs> so I went to pick my bag. I went, to, I went home. And then there was my uh, stepsister who was in the house. And I told her that I'm sick. I was like, she said, what am I doing at home? I said, I'm sick. And she said, what's wrong with me? I said, blood is coming out of my, like blood is coming out of me. And then I, it's in my panty. And she started laughing like, how? Oh. <laughs> she started laughing. She said, You've just had your menses, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! Like, so yeah, that was my first menstruation, and I didn't know how to use sanitary pads. And she had to tell me. She instructed me to go take my bath. I took my bed, and then I came back, and she had uh, put pad like sanitary pad in my panty. Like, yeah, she put that in my panty, you know. But the first time when I wore it, I, it was so weird. I was like, what is this? I couldn't, like, how to uh, walk was a challenge. I was like, oh, what is this? It felt really weird, like, yeah. So, yeah, that was my first uh, message. That's my experience, basically. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> who, who is coming okay let me chip in mm -hmm. okay so um my first day um having my menses i was i was also in junior high um dhs2 yeah um, it was a friday so as usual friday sports game so I yeah. was on the field with my seniors. We were playing football. Then I felt something sharp in my abdomen. So I thought uh, I was feeling too weary. Wow. Yeah. So as I was leaving the field to go, I felt wet down there, like in my panties, my knee, my underwear. Mm -hmm. I felt wet somewhat. So I went to the washroom and then I realized that I was having my I mean I had started though I also knew something like menstruation but I wasn't expecting it so it was kind of how like how to me yeah so I I didn't go back to the field I went to sit that uh, we had this these um, bamboo benches under trees in our school so I went to sit there all alone because I didn't know what to do. I, I know 
we've been taught not to use these um, T rolls, those things. I know we've been taught not to use clothes. We've been asked to use these sanitary, you know, it was a classroom thing. So mm -hmm. I didn't know how to apply it uh, practically. I want to sit there and you know, the more you, it's, it's your first time, it's your first day, <laughs> then you are getting wet, right? You are soiling yourself more. And it was around 12, one, Friday, but they are going to that kind of thing. And I'm sitting there, I can't even eat. I'm, I'm like, I'm just, I feel, one, I was playing ball already. I'm stressed, I'm depressed. I mean, in recent situation, because now I know how stress and depression looks like. So that, that uh, comparing it to how I was feeling by then, that is it. Then we close and I ask someone to go for my bag and then bring it to me so while I was going. Um, 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 actually, um, since I was young, I, I like to take quick paces because I used to run in school and all that. So I hardly walk slow. So, you know, as I'm going, I'm looking yeah. behind me. If anyone is seeing me, there's that red <laughs> thing behind me. Then I get home. Mommy is home. I rush to the bathroom, quickly remove my things. And my mom comes, what is wrong with you? Because I didn't go to greet her first before going to the bathroom. And I used to have this issue, tummy issues, you know. I, I growing up, I didn't like eating. So I now run and my tummy would be aching and all that. So she comes to the bathroom and I fold in my panty, my, my nika and my school skirt, folded it all around like that. So... I thought probably I just wanted to touch. I wanted to use my hand to touch there and see if I'm hurt or something. <laughs> yeah. So she comes to see all that in the bathroom and um, she goes like, what, why? What is it? Has, um, have I experienced so much ache? Probably I've run and I couldn't control it. So maybe I've solved myself. Then I'm shy because mm -hmm. I couldn't even let my mommy see. I don't know. Okay, so growing up, I was more comfortable when my dad seeing my nakedness than my mom. I don't know why. Mm. Probably because I grew up my dad till I was like 12 before mommy came in. So I was comfortable like that. Okay. So That's I weird. told my mom I was, I was playing football. <laughs> so I told my mom I was playing football. Then suddenly I felt like weary and I go to check and it's not weary. And then and she was like, Wait, what was I was playing? Did someone hit my tummy? Did the ball hit my tummy, my abdomen? Has anything, has someone had sex? You know, that kind of thing. All those questions. I'm like, no, I was just playing. I felt like we were in, I go to check and then there's blood. And she says, okay. Then she fetches water for me to the bathroom. And she wants to give me a bath. She's like, now you are a woman. You have to bath well. <laughs> and and I'm bathing, she's standing there watching. And she comes for this point, like, she she wait, she ye, like scrub, scrub your back well, mm -hmm. scrub your armpits, scrub down there, else it, it's gonna leave um odor, bad odor mm -hmm. on you till you go. You have to wash down there really well, you know. So she tells me now you're a woman. If a man calls, you don't go, especially in the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. If you mingle with guys, you're going to get pregnant. So you have to limit the way you mingle with guys. I know you like to mingle with guys. Mm -hmm. So you have to take, I mean, you have from now on, you have to bring in like, oh, so true, who free me, mom. We are calm, so we speak the truth. Yeah. yeah. So she's trying to tell me to minimize my interactions with guys because with now guys. I'm a woman. Yeah, I'm a woman. If a man touches me, I'll be pregnant. And I get more scared, like touches me, like <laughs> touch how? You know, because yes, I'm I'm like I'm really like that with guys, like my body mm -hmm. body and all that. So if he's going to touch me and I'm gonna get pregnant, like I'm gonna have a baby in my tummy. Like how? So she baths for me. Mm -hmm. She she takes me to the room. She has this, she got she got me um there's this part femme care. It's, it's small. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, I think I've seen femme care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh um she she goes into her thing. Mommy used to buy us those singlet like vest, panties, knickers. She kept them for us. She didn't give the new ones to us. Yeah. So like I think in some months she changes them for us. She comes to pick her old ones. 
burns them or sometimes we take it and they use it to wipe up when we go to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she gives me, I think, five sets, five new sets. Then the first one, she lays the the part for me. She mm-hmm. tells me this is how you do it. You do this, you remove this, you do that. And then, then she makes me wear it and I'm walking like there is a ball down there. She's like, and then she goes like, then I'll try to see You know, people are going to be like, there's something down there, they pump bubble. I tried that day, I tried to walk, and I'm so not comfortable. So- okay, I'll, I'll start. I'll start. Okay. I'll go. okay, so for me, I think I was 13 years. And wow. Yeah, <laughs> but fortunately for me on that day, I wasn't in school. So I went to my grandma. I went to my grandma's place and she went to visit her friend. But like from morning till that afternoon, I feel like it was just potted. You get it? So I kept putting like it, every small time I would go to the washroom to pee. Now I realize I would see it, like I would see a little spot, like red mm-hmm. spots. So I feel like, ah. Then every hour every, I go to pee just to check if it's still like coming, there's still more spots. Mm-hmm. So at a point, I put this one. Like, I took tea roll <laughs> and I put it on my panty. So I was like, let me wait and see what happens next. Okay. So after after an hour, after an hour, I went to the washroom again. I realized mm. it was coming. So I, I threw the tea roll and I took a different one. Then I went to my grandma and I was like, anytime I go to pee, <laughs> I see black, like as spotted. Right. Then she was like, I forgot, I forgot what she actually said, but for what I remember, she asked her friend to get a pad for me. Okay. But I think it was always because I was able to walk normally. Like I was able to walk very well. So she got it. Then when I go home, mm-hmm. she told me how to take care of Please, can you mute like, yourself? Like, um, rejoice. Can you mute yourself? Yes. Please, can you okay. mute yourself? Yeah, there's noise in your background. Okay, and we'll go on. So yes, so she was teaching me how to go about it and like how to fold it. I have to put it in a tea, uh, in a newspaper, then put it in a black polythene bag and dispose it all. You know how to clean myself mm-hmm. and how regularly I should change it. And then my mom also came in like telling me that like I should always tell them when I need more sanitary parts and all those things. So. Mm-hmm. That's how my best experience was. Does that mean you I were pre- like from what she just said, you were prepared for it, were you? Oh, I wasn't prepared, but because it didn't come in a large quantity, I wasn't panicking. Okay. Okay. It came in, it's it came, it didn't come at once. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then yeah. Sister Elsie, can you share your experience with us? Okay. <laughs> Mine started way back in JHS2. Okay. I was in the classroom with my colleagues. We were having an ongoing class. Mm-hmm. And I was really pressed. Like, I really wanted to use the washroom. Mm-hmm. I, was, I really wanted to urinate. So I went down to the washroom after peeing, and um, the blood came out heavy. It came like boom. So I was very scared. Like, what is this? I've never seen this. Like, I was wondering if I was really hurt or something. I tried touching my stomach, like, <laughs> no pain it was very normal like nothing and then then no blood so <laughs> I, I used my hand with the men's hand I and say I wanted to see what it really was I tried oh to God. like and, yeah that kind of, <laughs> I was very scared <laughs> so I, I did it like that hit my like I did this mm-hmm. went to the classroom and asked one colleague she was a bit matured in our class okay. way back in the class too mm-hmm. and I was like I saw this I did let me throw. I was like, I saw this. What is this? Like, can you help me? She was like, Is this my first time seeing something like this? And I was like, Yes. Then she told me to go and tell my class teacher, she mm-hmm. was a lady, that okay. this is what I've seen. So if she can help me, she was like, Oh, too bad on, on my side because she, she normally carries two sanitary parts. Mm. But unfortunately for that day, she couldn't carry. So mm. I shouldn't worry. It's my menses that has come. I was sad and 
happy because it was a very scary experience like mm-hmm. you're just normal and all of a sudden you just see blood boom Something like that flowing right from my like, just like that like so who killed someone in by. your body <laughs> <laughs> was there a murder case in your body <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. so she made me go and buy some of the sanitary pads and i use it when i go home i saw my mom and i was like ma when i go home i was sad i was like mommy pia bow Mm-hmm. and she 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 taught me the process it's like she loved that me though she loved that me because i said p i couldn't yeah. go straight to her and <laughs> yeah. say mom i feel you know my men she loved that me so bad i i still remember that day so even up to now we call her she asked me else you pia ba i was like <laughs> now, pia ba. we use the p term so yeah now. okay yeah, so that was how my experience was <laughs> that's interesting <laughs> oh yeah okay well, well uh, we've all had our first experiences and we've shared that. Um, did, was there any special, uh, how do you call it? Rituals, let me say rituals, like performed okay. for you uh, when you had your first menses. Like when your family got to know that you've had your first period, was there any rituals that were performed? Mm, no. For me, for, me, no. For, me, for me, no, there was no like, rituals or anything there was no initiation like uh let's say the crowbars will say is it how do they call depot or something or that one is adolescent whatever yeah but something when they have their first menses i know they perform some kind of rituals but for me there was nothing like that i don't know if any of you had any small rituals like oh for for me okay no okay 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 well i don't know if to call it ritual because um that that evening around seven yeah it was in the evening mom mom cooked an egg Mm -hmm. an egg for me and she asked that i that i just like bite one just one i didn't chew like like mm-hmm. I'm eating it for pleasure, but I just one so that I can I can um, swallow it. I don't know if it's a ritual, but like she was like, you know, and then she said mm-hmm. some things like, yeah, some things. I mean, kind of fertility issues, you know, those okay. things. And then she asked that I, yeah. So something like as I'm taking this, yeah. You know, childbearing, those kind of things, and then mm-hmm. she prayed, and then I said I eat it. I should just bite into it once and then swallow it. I shouldn't chew it, just swallow it. So oh, that was it. And I was so, what was it? What, what should I say? I said, Me fairy, no, Me fairy, <laughs> you were shy, like, yeah. Me fairy. I feel like I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. so like for some time with, with a thing, the small time I run to the room. Then I go and peep. I go and peep and see if the thing is stop. I'm uh-huh. like, mommy, it's still coming. So when? So when will it stop? Uh-huh. And then she says, it will, it will be for some days. Uh-huh. Yeah, she says it will be for some days. I'm like, then by the time the thing is done, my blood will be your blood. Yeah, I was so your blood. Yeah. Was, yeah, I was so blood. Yeah. I was sad. <laughs> yeah, so I asked that she calls that for me. I want to tell that I'm bleeding, maybe I'm sick. And then she says, No, I'll be fine. But when daddy comes, she'll tell him herself. But still, I didn't sleep. I told my dad that night. And then since then, I think my dad tied, uh, cut ties with me mm. in issues of um, woman things. So I tell him, Dad, this and this is what happened, and blah, blah, blah. And then, then he says, from now onwards, anything concerning you in those matters, you tell your mom. Mm-hmm. How did you feel after that, after your menses and after knowing that it was your period that you've had? Like, how did you start behaving? Did your behavior change? Did you, like, what, what changes oh, happened in your life? Like, your relation with others and, uh, like, yeah, life in general. 
Mm-hmm. For me, yeah. I became so yeah. careful. I became so careful, very careful. Oh. When I'm, I, the, the next day I went to school, I was so careful. I didn't want, when I sit down and then I get up, I yeah. check and see whether I'm staying yeah. Yeah. where I was. And then yeah. I, I, I kept checking my back and everything. And, and like you said, um, they will tell you, you don't have to uh, relate so closely with guys like you used to do because you get pregnant just because menstruation is related to your uh, fertility kind of and then by the way they they say it like the moment a guy touches your arm or touches somewhere of your body you get pregnant like I was like is this real can you hear me yeah, I think so okay yeah so yeah, 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 yeah so you can share yours how how was it after your first period, after seeing your first period, how did um, you? Please, sorry, I stepped out. I, I I had a I had to do something, but before I left, you had the question on a ritual or something. Yeah, yeah. They gave me an egg to swallow. Okay, and what's the meaning yes. of that? What 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 does that? Mean? I didn't really. You said what? I forgot him. But they they I think I would have to ask again. But they gave me an egg to swallow. They asked me not to bite it, but swallow inside, like straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they explained to me, but I have forgotten because that was just as scary. Yeah, but mm. they explained to me. But you shouldn't forget next time because you have to teach your children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which next time is that? So yes, how has life been after your first period? How has life was? Being after your first period, like after you've had your first period, how do you see any changes been, in your behavior, like everything? Yeah, you know, it made me feel like after the first menses, I felt like a big girl, like I'm an adolescent, like yes, mm-hmm. I've, I've gotten my menses too. But mm-hmm. I was very, I was, I was advised to be very careful, as um, Ikea said earlier, mm-hmm. like don't be going closer to the guys like you are friends with most guys but just be careful because mm-hmm. any least thing you can get pregnant and the way my parents are strict you can't bring pregnancy at that time that was like way back even till now it's a, it's a bit something so imagine way back so they really advise me very much okay on those sexual sexual lives especially my mom mm-hmm. mothers do 